Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, we are going to do a good old haul. I apologise that this week is going to be the week of hauls because I have this video and also my next video are both going to be hauls. I recently went on a trip to Canada for a couple of weeks and um, whilst I was there I also took a day trip to Buffalo in New York so I made quite a few purchases when I was in Canada but also made a few purchases when I was in Buffalo so I've decided to split this into two videos one for the stuff I bought in Canada and one for the stuff I bought in America so America's video will be coming up on Friday this should be Wednesday's video I'm still kind of in holiday mode I can't seem to get my thoughts straight I'm going to blame jet lag so if this or any of my preceding or succeeding videos don't make a lot of sense that is why in this video I do have some makeup and I also have some clothing items that I purchased as well I will start with the makeup for those of you who are interested in seeing what clothes I bought stay tuned to the end so all of the makeup that I purchased in Canada I got from Shoppers Drug Mart which I think for those of us in the UK, the easiest thing to compare this shop to is probably boots mixed with Superdrug mixed with a spa. Meaning they have, when this store I went into, when you first walk in, they have the likes of Clinique, I think there was Smashbox, Benefit, a few other high brands. I did actually film a little clip as I first walked in. I will try and stick this on the screen now or overlay it with this. And then once you went past the higher end, you then entered the drugstore aisles. And they had quite a lot of brands that we don't have here in the UK. I think everything I bought was only available in the US or Canada. And then after you go past the makeup aisle, there was things like sunglasses which I did actually buy a pair of sunglasses. I meant to bring them to film, but completely forgot. And I can't bother going and getting them. I might remember to put a picture in of my sunglasses because they were pretty nice. Um, you then have the usual things that you kind of get in drugstores like medicine and dietary supplements and plasters and things like that. And then after that, there was like a food section. There was a lot of bags of crisps that we bought we did make the mistake of going into the store quite hungry. So I think we did come away about four or five bags of crisps. Again, all flavors and varieties we can't get here in the UK, so I just had to. And I think we also bought some chocolate as well that we can't get in the UK. Weirdly, I found Canada do have Cadbury's, but it's not the same as our Cadbury's. Like they had a Cadbury's, I think it was called Caramilk. I think I took a picture of it. Again, I'll put that up now. And it's supposed to be like the old Cadbury's caramel, but to me it tastes like Cadbury's caramel used to because I've found in the past couple of years that Cadbury's caramels aren't as nice as they used to be. The caramels have gone a bit cardboardy tasting, whereas the one in Canada tasted exactly like it used to. So it did pick up a couple of them and I think I did bring one home as well. That was like the food section and they had like cereals and, and things like that as well. So it was a bit of a, a mix up of a store. I did just think it was a makeup store or a kind of like a super drug. I know Superdrug has a bit of food, but it is your kind of meal deals for lunch rather than actual food, like proper food. I'm starting to ramble. Again, blame holiday brain, but let me show you the things I picked up. So the first thing I got was this Maybelline Fit Me Loose Powder. I got this in the shade Fair Light. I was originally going to get the translucent one, but... When I'm using loose powder, I do sometimes want it for a bit of extra coverage, so I thought I'd get the a shade as well, so I did, I did get that little bit of extra coverage. We can get Maybelline Fit Me Powder in the UK, but we can't get the loose powder version for some unknown reason. I don't know if we've ever been able to get it, but whenever I've looked online or looked in stores, I can only see the pressed powder version, and it is the loose powder one that I hear more about, so I did desperately want to try it. And I think this was on offer as well. It usually is about 10 Canadian dollars, but I think this was a third off and I think it was only 6 99 The one thing that does annoy me with Canada and the US, the prices on things are very misleading because I always forget about the tax. When you purchase things in the UK, the price that's on the shelf is the price you pay because it includes the tax. But in the US and Canada, and I'm not sure if there's any other countries that do it as well, when you get to the till is, is when the tax is added. So even though this was six ninety nine on the shelf, it would have been seven pounds something or eight pounds something once the tax was added. It's also different percentages for different things, and I couldn't get my head around it. I didn't even try to. So I don't know how much I paid for any of this in UK money though, but I did really want to give this one a try. So excited to see what this one's like. 
The next thing I got is this L'Oreal Infallible Pro Glow Foundation. For those of you that have seen my everyday makeup drawer, you'll know that I do actually have this foundation, but I did have to purchase it on Amazon because I don't think I've seen it in any of our drugstores. We seem to have the Infallible Pro Matte, but not the Pro Glow. It is actually what I'm wearing now from using the one from my everyday makeup drawer, but I did want to purchase the backup because I do quite like the foundation and I find that it is one of the easiest ones I have to apply and it doesn't tend to overly sink into my fan lines, which are progressively getting worse. Obviously, I'm aging each day. So I wanted to get a backup of these because I did really enjoy it. I do know I overpaid for this one though because I think this was about $23. When I then went over to the US, they had it in Ulta for only about 15 American dollars. So I do think I overpaid for this by about $5 or so, but I don't mind because I, I do know I like this one. So this one isn't to try. It is something that I know I like. So it shouldn't. it's not gonna be a waste of money in the end. The final thing I got from the brand L'Oreal is the Voluminous Lash Paradise Mascara. Again, this is another one that I do have in my collection, but not this one. The one we have in the UK is supposed to be Lash Paradise, but it's called Lash Paradise Ecstatic, I think it is. And so many people rave really highly about this mascara, but I just wasn't overly keen. So I was intrigued to see if the formula in the US slash Canadian version is any different to our version because they are supposed to be the same thing, but they have different names and they're obviously manufactured in different places because the packaging and everything is different. I think ours is in a, in a gold packaging, whereas obviously this is in a pink one. So I did get this just to try it out. It wasn't overly expensive, so I thought I'll give it a go and see if I like it any better than the UK version. I then picked up a few things from the brand Essence. I know I said a lot of these things you can't get in the UK. This you technically can, but not very easily. Same with the, the L'Oreal foundation. This is only available in one of our like bargain shops, Wilco, Wilkinson's or Wilco's. They did have one not far from my home, which has now been closed. So I don't know where the nearest one is to me now to be able to pick up Essence makeup. So while it was there and cheap, I thought I'd pick, pick some more up. Picked up two mascaras, both of which I have or have had in my collection. The first one is the Volume Stylus 18 hour lash extension, wherever else the name is. And uh, this is one that I finished a good while ago, but hadn't got around to repurchasing because say I didn't know where I could get essence from. So made sure I picked one of these up because I do really like this mascara. It is a more drier formula. I don't get as long out of it as I do with other mascaras, but I still really like the mascara. And then I also picked up a trusty Lash Princess, which is the current mascara that I'm using at the moment. And I think I'm coming towards the end of it, so I definitely want to have a backup of this one ready. Then the final thing from Essence is one of their Metal Shock eyeshadows. I've, over the years, been looking at the Steeler ones that are very similar to this. And a lot of brands have now released this kind of formula. Because I'm not too sure whether I'm going to like the formula, I thought I'd rather buy a cheaper one than buy a high-end one and it would be too much of a waste of money. I think this was only four Canadian dollars, which is a couple of pounds. So I wanted to give this one a go. I did go for the bright gold shade. I was torn between this and the kind of gunmetal silvery one they had, but I thought I might get more use out of this. Although I have swatched it since and it is quite a bright gold. So we'll see how much use I actually get out of this. I then picked up this blending sponge from the brand Quo, which I do believe is a Canadian brand. I picked this up because I did intend to apply a foundation that I purchased because I did only take a CC cream and a concealer with me. I didn't actually take a foundation. So I purchased this in case I wanted to apply a foundation for, for one of the days. But as you can see, it is unopened and unused. When I'm on holiday, I do tend to get quite lazy with applying makeup, so I just could not be bothered applying foundation any of the days so it didn't end up getting around to opening it but it's still nice to try a new sponge. The next product is from the brand Physicians Formula and this is the Ultra Fine Liquid Eyeliner with Lash Conditioning Serum. This was recommended to me by my friend here on YouTube Kaylee Bowtie and I hadn't actually realised that it had a lash conditioning serum in it she just said it was a good eyeliner to try and we can't get Physicians Formula here in the UK I've only seen it on Amazon but it is quite expensive and I'm not 100% sure if the products are legitimate so I tend to steer clear but when I seen this I remember that she had recommended it to me so I thought I would pick this one up to give it a go. I'm getting back into wearing liquid liner more frequently so I'm excited to give this one a go and even more so that it has lash conditioning serum. 
I do want to look into properly what that exactly means, but if it gives me longer lashes, even, even better. Final thing I purchased from Shoppers is this CoverGirl Exhibitionist Mascara. I think this is a recent release from CoverGirl and I've seen so many people recommending it on YouTube. So when I seen it, I did have to give it a go. I just noticed that the shade I got is actually black brown. I don't remember seeing if those other shades, I just grabbed it and didn't even think to look. So hopefully it's quite a dark shade because I don't tend to wear brown mascara, I do just wear the blackest of the black ones. So I'm a bit gutted I didn't notice that at the time. I do think there was only one row of it so fingers crossed it's okay. But again I've heard great things about this so excited to give this one a go. We then made a trip to Walmart which as sad as it is I was so excited to go to because every time I go to America I always try and go to Walmart. It is the equivalent of Asda here, I think it's even the same umbrella company. Um, one thing I did find quite funny was the clothes that are in Walmart are the brand George which is what our clothes in Asda are, it's the same brand George and I think it's some old English guy who created the clothing line for the supermarket or something. But even so, I know we have as to here, it's a novelty to go into Walmart and there be that much food and that much clothes and that much makeup because I don't think, to be sure our, our stores don't have that many clothes as they do have there. I didn't actually pick up any more makeup while I was there. At the time we went to Walmart, we hadn't actually been to the US yet and I did want to see what I could get in Ulta and things. And I thought if I can't get, if there's things I can't get in Ulta, We'll go back and I'll go back to Walmart but I just never got a chance and um, there was one thing that I did intend to purchase that I never got round to and that was the Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer. I was going to buy the just individual pan but I'd seen recently that they had released another set and it was exclusive to Walmart. I don't know if it was just exclusive in the US or Canada were going to get it but the store I went into they didn't have a clue, they'd never even heard of it or seen anything so unfortunately I didn't pick up that set but then I just completely forgot about the individual one when I went to the US so I didn't pick up the butter bronzer even though that was on my list to purchase but to be honest I'm keep forgetting to use bronzers anyway I've got so many bronzers in my collection to use it's not the biggest loss and I have seen that one on Amazon so if I do get a real itch to try it I can always purchase it on Amazon and hope for the best that it's a legit one so the things that I actually bought from Walmart that I'm going to show you today are some clothes the first of which is this top that I'm wearing it's a really nice it's kind of a corally pink shade but it's got I've got ruffled sleeves but the ruffled ones all the way to the bottom of the top also with the back of the sleeve as well don't know how much you can see and then at the back it's got a bow detail too they did only have this one that i seen this is in an extra large i was hoping to pick up a medium or a large because of the material i think a large would have fitted me to me perfectly but i did end up getting an extra large and it is quite gappy under my arms but because of the ruffles I can kind of hide it that it is gaping under my arms and then the bow at the back sits quite loose I've tried to tie it but it still sort of sits quite loose and I am moving it around quite a bit but I just fell in love with the top so much it was different and I thought it'd be ideal for summer with a pair of really light skinny jeans so I had to pick it up it was only $15 as well so Go to the cutting at the size I wanted but I do really like it nonetheless. I then just picked up a couple of casual things. The first one being Canada themed and it is this Toronto Raptors t-shirt. I do believe they are the basketball team in the NBA. I'm not a follower of basketball, I do only tend to follow English and American football. Um, they had a big sports section and I originally was going to pick something up from the Blue Jays or the Toronto Maple Leafs which is the hockey team, the Blue Jays being the baseball team, but I didn't really like any of the styles of clothing, whereas I, this one jumped out at me because of the flower detail in it. So obviously it does say Toronto Raptors on it, but you wouldn't necessarily know that was a sports team if you didn't follow sports. And I just quite like the design on it. And I don't have many black t-shirts, to be honest. Uh, I think this one was $15 as well. The final thing I picked up in Walmart is just this pair of cut off slouchy sort of tracksuit bottoms for around the house in the summer they are such a soft cotton and i was actually looking for something like this i do have kind of cut off tracksuit bottoms or shorts that i wear around the house in the summer but they are all a bit thicker so i did want something thin i also wanted something with pockets which these have these were 18 dollars, which was quite pricey for a pair of joggers but that does only work out about 11 or 12 pounds I think so not too expensive but obviously more expensive than the tops but yeah it's just 
so soft and looking forward to wearing these when we get some nicer weather. I've got these in the size medium and I've tried them on, they do fit really nicely. But there's the George sign, which I say is exactly the same as the one we have at home, which I say I just sadly quite found quite amusing. Talking about summer and weather. When we were there, we had the absolute worst weather. Um, my cousin who we stayed with has lived in Canada for 30 years and said it's probably the worst spring she's ever seen. It rained for the majority of days we were there and when it wasn't raining, it was usually cloudy. And then the a couple of days of sun that we had were freezing. I think four or five or six degrees was really cold and we'd kind of packed for spring. So we'd packed a lot of cutoffs and uh, sandals and t-shirts and things like that. So there was a lot of layering up involved. So I last minute threw a hoodie in, which I just intended to wear on the plane. But I'm glad I did because I did end up having to wear that quite a few times. I was actually going to try and vlog some of the holiday but I just I just didn't think I was kind of in the moment and didn't really pick up my camera too much. I did film the odd thing here and there but I don't think enough for a vlog and then I was going to kind of try and compile some photos of things and do a vlog that way because I know recently Jen Loves Reviews did a trip across America and she did a vlog in the style of just compiling care photos and doing a voiceover. So I think I might look back and see what photos I've got and that might be quite a nice thing, nice to look back on in the future. Uh, I just haven't decided yet but I didn't want to go with the full intention of vlogging because then it'd always be in my mind that I needed to get my camera out and I did just want to enjoy myself. And the final purchases that I made in Canada we went to the mall towards the end of the holiday and we went into Old Navy. I believe this is linked to the kind of Gap and Banana Republic family which I hadn't appreciated and they had a sale on when we were in there so I managed to get a few bargains. I picked some things up for my daughter which I can't remember if these are still in the bag or if I took them out or not but I'll just show you all the things I got there. Everything is going to be really creased because this bag was just shoved in the bottom of my case in its entirety and everything is really crumpled so I apologise that everything is creased. I will get around to ironing it shortly. Uh, the first thing I picked up was this tote bag and this does have a nice little sunrise on it. It's a really nice red colour and this was $10. I've been looking for a new tote bag for work because I take my lunch to work in a tote bag now but the one I've got is looking a bit worse for wear so I did want to purchase a new one and this one's nice and sturdy and a really good size as well plus it's nice and bright and summery. I then picked up this t-shirt which says rosy skies ahead. This one was in the sale. It was $2.47 which is probably about £1.50 so I couldn't turn it down for that. It is a bit bigger than I usually like to wear t-shirts because it is a large, I do tend to go for a medium in these type of t-shirts but it was the only one they had left and I thought if it's too big for me to wear out I can always kind of wear it around the house but I thought it was quite a nice colour with a cool little design on it. I've got this jumper in the sale which says all in and it's a slouchy grey jumper with some stripey detail on the sleeve and this one was originally $20 down to $4.97 so about three pounds which again is really good for a jumper and it is nice and soft and I did get this in a medium but it does look like it's quite a big medium so it might be a bit of a slouchy fit but I don't mind that too much with jumpers it's just t-shirts are like a bit more fitted. The next thing I picked up was this stripy vest top this is one that I seen in the window on a mannequin and made me actually go in the shop because it looked quite nice the one that I seen on the mannequin was a more bluey colour but this was one that kind of to me it's kind of like a sagey green colour. This was a bit more expensive and this wasn't in the sale and um, this was $30 but I think I justified it because of the money that I saved on the sale items so I really like it, it fits really nice and it, it sits nice sort of tucked into a pair of jeans and will be good for the summer. I then picked up a couple of packs of trainer socks which were I think buy one get one half price. So the first one is these ones which are stripey pattern pink white and red and then I got these ones which I've already wear, worn a pair of and these say aloha this one has pink with palm trees on and then the other pair I got are a cream colour with a palm tree on and then lines in this kind of bluey colour they're really good and they sit really nice as well some of the trainer socks that I've got sit quite high on the trainer line whereas these sit perfectly that you can barely see them but they're really comfy as well and then I think everything else here is stuff that I purchased for my daughter. First one being this really cute whitey cream top which says Funshine coming out of the little pocket and then it's got tie details on each side. 
think everything I bought my daughter was in sale. This says it was $20, but I think it was actually either 11 or 14. Then she got this basic stripy pink and white t-shirt and this one was $3.97. Then had this really cute summer dress, which is a really nice green color with flowers on and then it's elasticated on the back and then kind of flows out at the bottom. This one says it was $22.94, but again, I don't think I paid that for it. I think you paid $16 or $17. I was really unsure with what size to get her for things because here we have like two to three and three to four. She's just coming out of age two to three and things now and going into some three to four. So here they have sizes 3T and 4T, I don't know what the T stands for, I don't know if it's a toddler maybe. Um, so I've got a couple of 3Ts and a couple of 4Ts. This I got in 3T because the 4T look like it might be well too big for this summer. If I had to be start getting nice weather soon. And then the final thing I picked up was this little cute pink t-shirt which says dance, dance, dance. And then on the back it's got some ballet dancers because my daughter does go to ballet and tap so I thought she might quite like this little t-shirt. So that is it for all the things that I picked up whilst in Canada. There probably are a few little bits of things that I've forgotten but that was all the things I pulled to mind. So that is it for this video. If you like it please give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you're not already. Thanks!